Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.11 O Partha, in whichever way a person renders service to me, I reciprocate with him accordingly. Everyone follows my path in all respects. Sar Ardavarshini One may ask the following question. Only your exclusive one-pointed devotees understand your birth and activities to be eternal. Others who have an inclination towards jnana and other processes take shelter of you to perfect a particular process, but they do not accept the eternality of your birth and activities. What will happen to them? In response, Sri Krishna speaks this verse beginning with Ye Yatha. Those who take shelter of me perform bhajan, and I reciprocate by granting them the result of that bhajan. I am the Supreme Master, and my birth and pastimes are eternal. To those who understand this, and who also worship me by serving my pastimes specifically to please me, I, as the Supreme Controller, being independent to act or not act as I choose, also make their birth and activities eternal. I make them my eternal associates, parikaras, and at the appropriate time I become manifest and unmanifest in this material world along with them. In this way I bestow my mercy upon them at every moment by giving them prema as the fruit of their service. There are others, such as the Gyanis, who take shelter of me, considering my birth and activities to be temporary and my deity form to be a product of the external energy. In turn, I repeatedly throw them into the nets of the cycle of repeated birth and action, which is subject to the destruction. There, in the snare of illusion, I give them misery in the form of birth and death. However, those yanis who consider my birth and activities to be eternal and my deity to be composed of eternity, knowledge and bliss, take shelter of me to perfect their knowledge. For such liberationalists who desire through abandoning their gross and subtle bodies, I destroy their stay in the cycle of birth and death, which is born of ignorance, and grant them Brahm Ananda, the bliss of liberation, as the fruit of their worship. Thus, not only my devotees take shelter of me, but also jnanis, karmis, yogis, renunciants, worshippers of the demigods, and all others follow my path. Since I am Sarva Swarupa, the form of everything, all paths, including jnana and karma, are paths to me. Sar Ardavashni Prakashikavriti Tamstan Kamaharir Dadyat Yan Yan Kamayati Janaha Aratito Yataivasya Tata Pumsham Halodayaha Srimad Bhagavatam 4.13.34 It is understood from this verse that according to the intention with which people worship Bhagavan Sri Hari or take shelter of him, he rewards them accordingly. The pure devotees worship him to attain eternal service to his spiritual form which is Satchit Ananda, composed of eternality, cognizance and bliss. Making such loving devotees his eternal associates, Bhagavan Sri Hari fulfills their desire to attain loving service to him. 
in accordance with the desire of the impersonalist empiric philosophers, Bhagavan grants them liberation in the form of nirvana in the featureless nirvishesha brahma, which is the unvariegated manifestation of his personality. Bhagavan appears to those desirous of material enjoyment as he who bestows the fruits of their prescribed duty. And he appears to the yogis as Ishvara, the Supreme Lord, and gives them mystic powers or liberation. However, all of the various achievements, the ultimate is to attain service to Rajendra Nandana, Sri Krishna, in Goloka Raja. It should be clearly understood from the present verse of Bhagavad Gita that the results of different types of bhajan depend on the desires of the practitioners and are not the same. Some explain the words Manushyaha Parta Sarvashaha to mean that everyone is following the path of service to Bhagavan and that all will attain the same result, whatever action they perform. This conception is completely incorrect. The idea that the miscreants, the jnanis, the devotees and the premi bhaktas ultimately achieve the exact same destination has been refuted in scriptures such as the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. This is stated later in the Gita 9.25. Yanti Deva Vrata Devan Pitrin Yanti Pitri Vrataha Bhutani Yanti Bhutegya Yanti Mat Yajino Pimam Those who worship the demigods go to the planets of the demigods. Those who worship the forefathers go to their planet. Those who worship the ghosts and spirits, go to the planets of the spirits, and those who worship me, attain me. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur quotes Krishna as follows. I reciprocate with the mood in which one accepts shelter of me and worships me. Everyone can certainly attain me, because I am the ultimate objective of all paths. Those who are pure devotees attain transcendental bliss by eternally rendering confidential eternal service to my spiritual form, which is composed of Satchit Ananda, eternality, cognizance and bliss in the supreme abode. To the worshippers of my featureless aspect, the impersonalists, I award nirvana, total absorption in the nirvishesha brahma, by way of self-annihilation. Since they do not accept the eternality of my satchit ananda form, they consequently lose their own eternal blissful form. According to their degree of conviction, I cast some of them into the cycle of birth and death. I appear as void to the nihilists or shunyavadis, merging their existence with the void. I completely cover the consciousness of the materialistic empiricists, as well as those who identify themselves as being born of nature by making their consciousness almost inert. I am only attainable to them in the form of inert nature. I appear as Ishvara to the yogis, rewarding them with mystic powers or impersonal liberation. In this way, as the intrinsic form of everything, Sarva Swarupa, I am the object of achievement for all types of beliefs. Among them all, the only one that should be considered supreme is attainment of transcendental service to me. All human beings follow one of my various paths. <laughs>